Hello there, Aries, and welcome to your 2021 love forecast. Uh, Aries, thank you so kindly for your support. I really do appreciate you guys so, so much. Uh, this is going to be a general reading pertaining to the energy of love and romance coming to you in this new year of 2021. I got my new cards on deck, Aries, so we're pulling from the True Love Oracle cards here along with using the True Heart Intuitive Tarot decks here. And at the end of your reading, um, I'm going to pull from the Spell, what is it? Spell Casting Oracle deck here. Let me see. Let me shuffle up these. Um, I didn't shuffle these. But Aries, I hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day here. Uh, I have Aries in my chart. Aries is under my moon. So I can relate to your readings as well, Aries, here. So, so far, Aries, the energy that I'm picking up for you is that 2020 brought in a lot of lessons for you, Aries. So 2021, you are going for what you desire and no lesser than what you so rightfully deserve, Aries, here. So if you've been in, in type of relationships where there was never a give and take, you're not standing for that shit now, Aries. You, you... <laughs> You ain't playing no games in 2021, Aries. Based on your car's energy, I can tell that you, even your nuff has had enough when it comes to relationships when they're out of order. So, starting your reading off, Aries. Now, this, like I said, this is a personal, uh, excuse me, a general reading, Aries. So, it may or may not resonate with you, Aries. So, if it doesn't resonate with you, Aries, that means that this is not the reading for you at this time. Also, you might want to take a, um, get you a personal reading that's still going on. Uh, 20 minutes for $20. Um, all of my readings, I have figured out how to place them on private so that you, you'll be able to watch them by yourself and you won't have to share that with anyone else. But please note that even if I do make your video public, it's because your information or your email address is not allowing you to uh, log in to view your, your personal private reading here. Uh, also, uh, if I do have to put your reading on public, it's always going to be under a alias name. I'm not going to put the real person's name underneath there. You know, that's why I always tell you to put the name of your choice. And I was asking you to do that before it started working that, cause see, once I put you under private, then it automatically, I put your email address in there. Then it sends you the link. YouTube sends you the link. It notifies you and it sends you the link to your personal private reading. But if your Google account is not set up and it's not connected, then that you may have a problem doing that. So the last result would be to make it public, but under a alias name. Okay, so just keep that in mind, Aries. So Aries, let me cut these cards right quick. What's, let's see what's coming into the forecast pertaining to love and romance for you, Aries, here. Let's see, what is your cards here? You got, ooh, -wees, Aries. I pulled two of these. Ooh, wee, Aries. These are good. Your messages from spellcasting is beautiful, Aries. So, now, Aries, now check it out. Now, your first card coming up is dating. Isn't these beautiful colors? These are absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is by Belinda Grace, True Love True Love Reading Cards here. Belinda Grace. So, okay, Aries, you got dating here. Now, if you look at this picture, you see a person who's almost like Romeo and Juliet. This person is, is, you know, chivalry. This person is courting you. This person is trying to entice you some kind of way. But what this dating card represents, Aries, is anything that you learned in 2020, you are having to apply, apply it to 2021. So I feel like 2020 wasn't so kind to you, Aries, pertaining to ro ro relationships and romance and even love. So I feel like as a result of the hard lessons you've had to learn in 2020, now you're more selective in your dating choices because I feel like in the past, you know, uh, you know, you, you really didn't get to know a person until after the fact here. So I feel like your lessons have taught you to be more selective in your dating. Uh, you know, you know, like your person, are, are we compatible? What are your, what are your spiritual beliefs? Uh, are you going to honor me? Are you, is it going to be a, a equal give and take relationship here? 
It's like, yeah, I see you coming with some roses. That all you have is just, you know, it's like you're knowing your worth now, Aries, based on the heartache and pain you experienced in 2020. Now you're more selective. You're making head over heart decisions now. You're not just getting involved with anybody now. It's like you got to come a whole different kind of way to Aries in order for Aries to open up. It's like really getting to know a person. It's like enjoying the, the, fulfill, the fulfillment in courtship. The fulfillment in courtship is like getting, given the, 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 uh, giving the, uh, the relationship the chance to blossom on its own by not tampering with it, uh, going with the flow, you know, just, just allowing yourself to get to know the people that you're involved with, especially someone that you're dating, uh, Aries. So this is how I feel like you're doing. You're, you're more selective with the people that you're going to come in contact with because you've been burned before and you refuse to go into 2021 with the same old bullshit. Now the card underneath the bottom of the deck, Aries, we have sexual freedom here, sexual freedom here. You see that? Isn't that beautiful? Now, what the sexual freedom card represents, um, Aries, is that a lot of times in relationships, we feel obligated to have sex with those people. But the universe is asking you and, and bringing to you awareness about, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just like this picture that's crowning is, you know, dating. It's like. Aries is like, damn, if you do something for me, do you expect for me to always have sex? Sex is a bonus. It's like really getting to know yourself, not feel, feeling pressured. So I feel like in a lot of your relationships in the past, you gave your heart and you gave your sexual energy away because of the connection. And we know Aries is full of passion. Now, Aries is that person. Aries naturally attract sexual partners because of the energy that sex, uh, that, Aries vibe in. It's that passionate, uh, life of the party, uh, exuberant, exciting, uh, energy here. So, but the universe is asking you be more selective about your sexual partners. Don't feel like you have to, you don't owe am bad and nothing. You, if someone do something nice to you, you know, your word, they don't, you don't owe them sex. And so it's like, it's like liberating yourself from this bondage of being in a relationship or just casually dating someone without the pressure of feeling like you have to have sex with this people with, you know, with your person, because I feel like in the past you felt pressured. I think a lot of us have been pressured or feeling pressure, especially if you got someone really doing things for you, but it, it doesn't mean that, that, that you owe them sex. It just means that if someone is doing things for you, it only means areas that that's what the fuck you deserve. You hear me? So it don't mean they get to get sex because this is a sacred thing for Aries. Aries has tried that. Aries has given sex and gotten their heart broke. Aries has given their heart and gotten their heart broke. So now Aries is like, look, who the hell are you? Uh, who, how many sexual partners have you had? If we have sex today, are you going to be here tomorrow? And why can't we just get to know each other? I don't want to feel pressured. If that's all you want is sex, then maybe you're not the one for me. This is the energy of 2021. You're liberating yourself from anything that kept you restricted or have you feeling obligated to serve other people. Now you're looking out for yourself. Now the next car under this freedom, uh, sexual freedom areas, we have serendipity. Isn't that beautiful? Now this is about time in here. This is about divine time and being patient. I feel like Aries, you done been through so much hell pertaining to romance in 2020. Now you're being more selective with your sex. You're being more selective with your energy. You're, you're being very choosy. Aries, you're turning out to be a choosy lover, honey. Now any and anybody can't just date you now. You're not going to date any and everybody. They got to step up their game if they want to come to you, Aries, in 2021. So I feel like you've set your intentions. You know your worth and you're not selling for anything lesser than what the fuck you deserve, Aries, in 2021. And the serendipity is being at peace knowing that the universe has your outcome. It's like it's all about divine timing. So in the process of this thing coming to surface, you're just preparing yourself because you know what you want and you know what you don't want. But underneath the serendipity card, Aries, you have the garden here. Now, this is a beautiful lush. Isn't that beautiful? Now, this garden is representing how secure you are 
and how secure you're going to be in this energy in the 2021. Now, yes, you, you got everything you need. You are the shit. That means you don't have to go outside your garden to get anything. If anybody wants you and want what you get, they got to come up in the garden. You hear me? And they got to come up in the garden right. So it's being content where you are. And you are being content where you are because you've had to learn some hard emotional lessons uh, in 2020. So in 2021, is you executing all these things. You're standing your ground. You're not going to be so quick to feel obligated just because someone shows you kindness. You're not going to let people pressure you into bullshit like that because I feel like it broke you down. So... You have the four swords here. This is air energy. This is how you used to feel. This is why you're being more selective in your dating and, and uh, checking yourself about who you choose to be sexual with here. Because I feel like these relationships broke you down, so you had to recover. You had to take a break from that shit. So uh, this four swords represents you healing yourself. This is healing you yourself overall here. And so this is like, you got the moon car underneath this. This is you being connected to your spiritual side now. This is a very in-depth uh, uh, healing process here. This is a, this is a um, spiritual card, but this is healing yourself from things that you don't know, but at the same time, getting the downloads you need from the universe, because this is how you know how to conduct yourself in 2021 based on the shit you've learned and how this hurt you in the past. So next to your four of swords, we have the king of swords. So this is more uh, air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius is energy. Now, see, this is what you used to do. This is what you've dealt with in the past 2020. Um, you giving your heart and your emotions to people while they sit on their heart and act like they can't show you shit. You know what I'm saying? You steady investing your emotions into people while they sit on their emotions and not even put, give you an equal give and take in this energy here. So I feel like this is you because after this King of Swords, you have the Five of Cups, which is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You're not going to keep on pouring into your, you're not going to keep pouring your emotions into anyone else and then it leaves you without. So it's like you're healing from this shit. You're more selective as a result of what you went through in 2020. You're not going to keep giving your heart to people and they just let their heart roll out on the ground like it ain't shit. You're tired of hard, coldest ass relationships that cannot give you what you desire in a relationship here. So like you, like I say, you have this moon card, but you got this moon card next to the king of wands. You got the king of wands. You have the king of wands and the king of swords. So either this was two different people that you were involved with that really taught you a valuable lesson pertaining to relationships, or this is the energy that you do not want to be a part of. So it's like, you don't want to be around no Casanova bachelor type of person that keeps secrets from you because ultimately what it did to you, Aries, will leave you heartbroken here. So these are the things that you're doing away with here. From now on, you're going to be more selective with your heart because you don't want, you're going to be more selective with people you date because you're not going to give your heart so easily. And you damn sure not going to hurry up and give this king of wands your loving because all they do is just let that shit pour out. So you're learning from your past mistakes here, Aries, and you're not taking anything lesser than what you deserve. Now, at the bottom, we have the magician here. Now, this is you, Aries, every day, all day. You starting to manifest some shit now because you, you done tapped into some shit and you done fi figured out what it takes to get to your happy place and to manifest the desired outcome that you desire. Because remember, you had to learn some hard lessons in 2020 pertaining to romance and love. So you realizing, damn, I can't give my heart just so easy. I need to know who the hell I'm, I'm dealing with. And if they're not worth me giving my heart to, should I even be giving them the fucking time of day? And you like in this sexual energy, if this person ain't, ain't uh, wife at me or have a relationship with me, why the hell am I so quick to fuck you? Because that's what the hell you want. All you're going to do is leave me heartbroken any damn way. So it's like in this serendipity energy, uh, divine time. And now you know that if you put yourself in the right place, then it's only a matter of time for you to call in and manifest what you desire. So this is you manifesting exactly because you've already set your intentions. You set boundaries here. You've already set boundaries here. And this four of swords and this dating and sexual uh, freedom, you set boundaries. 
So now you can manifest some shit here. So you manifest into the, the, the proper outcome that is befitting Aries. And now you have the four of this. Now, see, you're manifesting everything for you. Now you're more selective. Now you're selfish. Now you will not hurry up and give your heart or give your body out. You're going to hold on to things that are sacred to you from now on. And not only that, Aries, you're holding out for a commitment in this high fit. This is what you're holding on to in this four of pentacles. You're holding out for a commitment. You're like, what the fuck am I giving you my heart for if you ain't going to wife me or or at least, uh, you know, commit to this relationship? Why the hell am I sexing your ass and you ain't even try to put a ring on it? So this is what you're pulling your energy for. This is what you're manifesting. You're manifesting all these things here. You're manifesting to be the boss of your emotions and the boss of your outcome of your life. You're taking charge and control of your life in 2021 based on the heartache and pain that you endured in 2020. So now you're more selective about who you partner up and who you team up with because you realize that it's only gotten you heartbroken in the past. So now what you're going to do is you're going to constantly keep on, um, invested in you. You have, uh, you have a lot of people that's going to be wanting you Aries now, but you're going to have so much it's like this three of this next to this two of uh, pentacles. It's like you, you're selective about your partnering up. You're not going to be juggled in, you're not going to be juggled in anything anymore because after you've did this ma major transformation here in your life, your luck will change. Everything will be better. You can get the desired outcome that you want. This is waiting for you. All of this is waiting for you. It's like, <laughs> excuse me. It's like this magician card that set you up in a very, very good way. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, Aries, because I feel like you're manifesting everything that you desire now. You, you're manifesting a proper uh, collaboration, a, a proper teamwork. You're, you're, you're manifesting all of these things. You don't want to be juggled. You don't want those things to be in your relationship. You want, you want things to be good for you. And I know that this is true because... Now, this is from the uh, True Heart Intuitive Tarot, these right here. But now from your um, spell, what is it? Spell casting oracles. You got two cards here, Aries. Let me see. It's all over the place. Forgive me. Your first card, Aries, is good luck. You got fucking good luck, honey. This will of fortune. You got some hell of a good luck coming for you in 2021 after you've in adopted this energy of sitting back. It's like you've adopted this energy to put yourself first and fuck everybody else. And that, that's just what I see here is because you know what it's like to put your heart out there. You get hurt when you put your heart out there. When you sleep with them too soon, then they asses break your heart. So it's like now you, you, you're in a more better place. You know that you can manifest things in your life. You know it's all about divine time and you know your time is coming. That's why you're manifesting it. But in the process, the universe wants you to know you're doing what you need to do because something amazing is coming for you, Aries. Something amazing is coming for you in 2021. All good things because ultimately it's because you transform your transformation. That's, that's what you're in. See that? It's like you're transforming everything about your life pertaining to relationships, Aries. And it's going to render you an abundant 2021. You see that? Good luck, will of fortune. That's you, Aries. But you had to you had to change some things. It's like you had to be hurt and get it's like your tide had to get tired, Aries, in order for you to experience this major transformation in your life, which is the same thing as this magician card. You manifested this. As a result, it transformed you. Now you in a position to get everything. That means you're gonna get the commitment you deserve. You're gonna have abundance. Your your career every it's like 2021 is the hell of a year for Aries. You hear me, Aries? This is you, boo. 2021, this is you. Good luck and will of fortune. So, Aries, this has been your love cast forecast for 2021. What an amazing, amazing reading here, Aries. So, Aries, this has been your, it is a general. So, if this video resonates with you, please like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Hit the notification bell. Also, get in on the $20 for 20 minutes personal uh, reading if you choose to do so. Uh, other than that, Aries, thank you so much. I love you guys so much. Have an awesome day and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.